everybody we are back with another review and today we're going to be checking out another installment to survival saturdays so without further ado let's hop right into this review today we're going to be checking out some navigational pickups uh, basically something that i ended up scooping up for myself to learn how to use uh, properly and to be able to uh, navigate on the land using these particular tools that i ended up scooping up so let me bring them over here and i'll show you and what we're going to do is i'm going to actually verse myself with the use of these and we'll do a follow-up video exactly showing how to use these. But particularly today, um, I think what would be nice to do is to unbox it, kind of check out some of the features that they have and the things that they're basically intended for. So today we have the Sunto MC2 Compass, and we also have some Ranger beads right here, or some, I guess, pacing beads. So let's check out um, this right here. We'll, we'll see if we can, I think it just pops right out the package. I don't think it's sealed, or I have to actually cut anything. At least I don't think. No, yeah, nice. All right. Let's check out what we got here. Very, very nice compass. Cool, little sleeve on top. Nice. Yeah, actually a real nice movement. Pretty stiff too. Nice, very nice. All right. Let's check out some of the stuff that it's got before we start getting into playing with it. So here is a little lanyard or a little, oh nice, a little adjuster there as well. And we got a little clip here, which is cool. And then I guess this is a little slider for you to be able to adjust that. That's pretty cool. We'll put that off to the side for now. Let's see what we got in here. So here are some instructions on how to use it. Very nice. The mirror compass, that's part of the reason why we got it, because of the mirror. It looks like we have Oh, just about three dozen languages in, in this. So that's why this is so large. But it does have a full prospectus in here on how to use this, which is awesome. And if you want to check it out, there you go. There's, oh, I guess that's just a QR code to go to their customer support. Don't do that. But yeah, this is in multiple languages in here. And it looks like English is going to be on the first page. Yeah, declination and correction right there. So it basically does each section and then breaks it down into each language. So each section just has its own derivation of language explaining it. So we'll check that out later. We're not here to do an instructional video. We're just kind of doing an unboxing and kind of checking out what's going on. Here is the newsletter if you want to scan that QR code. But definitely very cool. A Finland company. So we got a high grade steel needle with jewel bearing, which as you can see right there in the center, it has an adjustable declaration correction, which you saw earlier, I was spinning that, which is pretty cool, right? It's got a mirror with a center line. As you can see there, we're actually gonna peel up. Let's grab the plastic liner off the mirror so that it has that brilliant shine. see right there which is pretty cool right all right next we have the protractor with orienting lines for navigating with a map so that would be uh, right here along the side here the rim of the circle right there it's going to be your protractor next we have the long straight edge for making map work easier so there you go you got that on that side this side and also it continues through the top right there as well so let's see what else we got. Liquid filled capsule for stable operation. As you can see, the needle's moving very nicely in there. Clinometer for measuring slopes. So you also have that, which is going to be, where is that at? Right there in the middle, actually. You can see the slope right there, seven. So it's going to be right there, that declination with the, the black Magnifying lens for reading a map, so you have that right there, which is pretty cool. I guess you could maybe use that to start a fire as well. I'm not too sure. The magnification on that, or how much, I mean, I guess the higher you are towards the sun, higher in altitude, the better it will be to start the fire. So you got red scales for easy reading. So the whole thing is outdone in red for when you're using it with a map. All right, and you have a slope ruler, which is also here on the side for degrees of slope. And you have a non-skit foot pad for better traction, which you can see right there. It'll slide nice along the map surface. 
And it looks like it has some kind of a uh, limited lifetime warranty, which is pretty cool. I mean, the people that stand by their product, that's pretty dope. So let's see what we got here. Nice. It does have a nice click snap and everything travels very nicely. It would be nice to have a little slip case for this, or some kind of leather slip case to have this um, kind of have the mirror from getting a bunch of grit and grime on it and having this kind of get jacked up a little bit. But very, very nice piece of machinery here. Again, made in Finland right here. Very, very cool. So again, it's going to be something that I will do a little follow-up on this and how to use this because this is definitely a worthy, worthy piece of machinery to have in your bag. And if you know how to use it, definitely help you out for sure. Let's put, and there's the little adjuster right there, which is what this is for, the little pin adjuster. So you're able to adjust that as well. Pretty cool on that. And it comes with, like I said, a little lanyard there for adjusting and carrying. And the next thing we got is some of these Ranger beads or these pacing beads. So something I wanted to check out in conjunction with this particular compass right here. So here is the explanation here. Um, so pace count beads are not an exact way to measure distance. Pace beads use the length of your stride to determine how far you have walked. Because basically you're, you, you lean towards your dominant, your dominant side. So you're going to be walking like, let's say you're right, right side dominant. You'll start, instead of walking in a straight line, you're actually going to start veering off to the right eventually. Um, so something like this in conjunction with this can keep you moving on a, a straight declination. And that's the main reason why I picked these up so I could teach myself how to use these in the proper way, especially if I needed to use them sometime um, in an emergency situation, I would know how to use them and wouldn't have to learn on the on the job if you would. So factors such as terrain, weather, and weight of gear you're carrying will all change the length of your stride. There are ways that to take these variables into account, but just know basically balancing your pack, but you're still gonna, you know, go towards your dominant side. Uh, just know it's not an exact science. Getting your pace count. There are two methods, you know, explains through all the methods basically here, 100 meters, how many feet, and then meters to kilometers. So it has everything broken down here, which is really nice. They sent this with the uh, pace beads as well with the purchase, but pretty cool there. And it's got some paracord in there, which I believe has some kind of line inside of this one. It has like a splayed out uh, different lines inside of it, or I think you can use them for tinder, or I think there's like a fishing line in there, but anyway. There is your pace counter right there, and then you have the four set over here. So um, pretty cool. Again, something that I would use this with this, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end up getting into using these and getting these into my everyday loadout so I can actually use these. So I, th I think it'd be a neat thing to know before you need to know it, if that makes any sense. So why don't you let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of this Sunto MC2 and these pace counter beads? Is this something that you use for navigation? Again, something I'm going to be getting into teaching myself how to use it once I know and I'm affluent in it I'll do a follow-up video basically on using these two devices in congruent you know congruent with each other so and let you know exactly how it worked out for me in regards to um, me doing my learning experience with it so let me know down in the comments below what you think of this and if you use these in your own kit and if you do do you like them has it been successful with it Am I going to be in for a treat? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this? Subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So look out for that. Have a great rest of your day.